What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Creepers and I'm here today to do another tutorial. Now, I'm still going to be doing the tutorial you've made. I did made it before, but unfortunately my computer pretty much died on me and so I lost the recording. But I'm going to be doing the new Maeve, you know, the more updated guide for her, so don't worry about that. Now what we're going to be doing is the tutorial, the tutorial for Moji, her or newest champion and also our only rabbit champion we have, wizard rabbit champion. Um, she's basically a little rabbit. She's uh, she comes from a, you know from a, a civilization of rabbits, and she's a wizard. And you know that she's a rabbit as well because of the fluffy ears and the lore, and also her pointy, double pointy head. So for both ears, which she puts down, but. Really, that's that's her choice, and she is, uh, you know, she is a comp, and you know, she, she's together with this two-headed lizard, which technically they are two different lizards, but only on the same body, which is Poe and Lee, and uh, you know, that one of them is more a little more serious, more angry, and the other one is more goofy and etc. And together, these two little uh, lizards are going to be doing incredible damage alongside Moji. And that's why she is Moji with friends, because uh, these two little head monsters, they're, they're her friends. And today we're going to be doing the tutorial about it, about how to play with it, and how to do incredible damage and etc. I know a lot of people are, th are saying, oh, Moji is this, Moji is that, she's not even a flank. Uh, I understand what you guys are saying, like there's a lot of things to it that it's not normal, like... Why would you want uh, a, a flank champion that actually heals the rest of the team? <laughs> because that's what she can do. She drops, she drops like a pool of, of healing and you know and uh, buffs for her teammates to heal up and go faster, which technically doesn't really make much sense. Uh, unfortunately, this legendary apparently you cannot heal yourself in that pool. It's it's weird, but I guess you cannot because I tried it and it doesn't work. But there's a lot of things that people still don't know about her that I figured out a few time ago and I decided, you know, I'm just going to build that little tutorial. First things first, we're going to talk about her legendaries really, really fast. Oh no, first things first, we're going to be talking about her skills. So, first ability, Familiar Spray. This apparently it's the main fire. It's, you know, that right head, right here, as you can see right here, it's the right head, it's the head from the right side. That's her main attack, okay? I thought it was the left head because it's projectiles and etc., but no, it's the right head. You know, coming from this perspective, of course. Um, and you can actually know this because if you get crippled, the other head is completely immobilized. You cannot use it, okay? So basically that's it. The first fire is from her right head. Uh, of the lizard and what it does is it fires like a sort of a it's like fire it's a magical fire but it's a fire that doesn't stick to people it doesn't continuously stay on people even after you stop firing like Fernando Fire or the nades from um, you know the, the Malatas from uh, Tyra it's not like that it's really just like a magical projectile fire if you want to talk about it like that also every time that you hit somebody you apply a mark and every 0.1 seconds that's one attack. So technically, in less than one second, you do 10 marks. And what are these marks? These marks you've probably already seen are like little stars that appear on top of people after you start using the fire on them. And if you get the entire star, using the left head, the the other one, the little goofy one, uh, will, you know, shooting a projectile if somebody who has a full mark will automatically increase the damage from 250 uh, as a normal projectile that he would do to 775. Now, you guys may be thinking, oh, but that's not too much. The fire itself, each time that it touches, does 50 damage. In less than one second, you can do 10 times that, which means 500. So in less than one second, you will do 500 damage. Okay, in less than one second, 500 damage. Midas, the, um, the other, the familiar spit, which is a secondary fire, as you can see here, is a second ability. Uh, that does the 775 because of the, the, the mark. Altogether, does 1,250. And you guys are like, damn, that's not that no, we're talking. But, that, but that's what you have to do in the beginning. Um, and the left head also can do more damage than 250 uh, if you have less than, you know, than f the full mark. But it, trust me, I've tested out the damage that it does with 9 marks and it's really low. So don't go for less than the full mark. Unless you just continuously fire the two heads, which you can do because it had, has no cooldown or reload whatsoever. 
Um, then we have the third ability, which is Scamper Quickly, Scamper Forward. This ability is just basically for you to run or to get to places faster. And together with this legendary card right here, Toot, uh, you can actually leave a pool behind of healing and buff. So people can actually go like faster every time they pass through it and they heal with time, uh, you know, passing through it. But only if you use that legendary. Then we have the fourth ability, uh, which is Magic Barrier. Magic Barrier basically leaves you completely immortal for two seconds and whoever touches you receives automatically a full 10 time 10 10 sides you know 10 marks a full star a full 10 stacks of magic mark whatever you want to call it uh which means you can just use this and as soon as you leave the magic barrier state which, which you cannot attack during it you use the projectile head the left head and boom 775 damage if that person is really low and she's trying to attack you <laughs> she's a walking target so might as well not do that and then we have her final ability which is our ultimate which needs to charge as it's obvious and um it's a bon appetit which basically you can transform a single victim you can actually read this in here cast an arcane spell that transforms a single victim into a delicious treat which means you transform a person into a cookie. Of course, that person, if that person is, for example, another Mojin, she's using the magic barrier, you cannot transform her. Or reversal, you cannot transform him. Um, it has complete CC immunity, uh, you cannot touch it. If he has resilience to the max, you can transform him, but it, it will be transformed for less than two seconds. So technically, you won't even have the time to get that person, but you still have the chance for it. So, do, what does this happen? Well, you transform somebody into a cookie, you just need to get close to it, and you will grab it and kill it automatically. Also, another thing that a lot of people don't know is when you transform someone into this cookie, he is completely f damage immune. He has full bar, a full bar of life, and it cannot be killed during this state. But, of course, unless you go in contact with him, you will probably kill him instantly. Now, we've seen the abilities, let's talk a little bit about the cards really, really fast. We're gonna be only talking about the legendaries because I don't want this city to be too big. I'll show you two or three loadouts. In the end, you will guys read the cards, you'll see what's better for you. I have one or two cards that I really want you guys to use, at least that, and I'll talk about it. But let's talk about the legendaries. Every legendary here has a different situation to be used. Tooth, in case you have a bad healer or you don't have a healer at all, Use this card because you will be able to heal people. Just get near them, use Scamper, even if you want to be smart and just turn around, like going back, not forward to the enemy lines, and just use it, at least you healed and you retreated. It's almost like a Grover, if you ask me, because you go there, you healed and come back, you know, to your own spot and safety. Then we have the Yummy here, which consuming a victim of, of your ultimate... Oh, basically consuming a victim that it's transformed into a cookie will recharge your ultimate by 50% and heal you automatically 90, 950 damage, uh, life. I'm sorry, I'm conf I'm, I confused myself there a little bit. What this means is basically almost like Leon's ultimate, where if you kill somebody, you automatically get 50% of the, the charge rate, which means if there's like two, three tanks in the other team front lines, it's going to be probably the best thing to choose because you're going to be able to kill them a lot faster. Don't try to use this on TDM though, because the game is so fast you probably only get like one or two ultimates, like you, you won't even use this, trust me. Then we have Snack Attack, players you kill drop a pickup that heals you for 720 when picked up. Now this is good in case you really want to go onto the sides and the healer is like rock and it cannot heal you. This probably is going to help you because every time you kill somebody, it drops like a little plus on the ground and you just grab it and heals you for 720. Of course, if you level up the card, uh, automatically it will heal more. And then we have this one, the Boom Boom. Detonating in a magic mark damages all enemies within 40.25 units of the victim. Now, if there's people around the person where you put it a mark, even if it's just one little mark, the other people will receive the same damage as it was like an explosion. You know, splash damage. And we're going to be seeing that in the gameplay that I'm going to be doing in less than, you know, two two minutes. Uh, right now, I'm going to show you three loadouts that I created. First one we have here, this one, which is the first card is Willow of the Wisp, which gives you CC immunity. Right now, it's a level 6, so it's good for me. 30% crowd redu crawl control reduction is pretty good. I'm not entirely sure if you manage to buy completely re resilience 
it will make you full immune, but that's actually the thing to consider. But I'll test that out later and I'll let you guys know in another video. Um, but this is always good to use. The second card is this one, gain 50% damage reduction while using Scamper. Now the 50% of course, ch of course changes, um, but basically what it does is, you, you know, you, you get a little less damage while using Scamper. It's a lot better if you have to run, you're using the magic mark, you're really, really low, somebody's gonna attack you immediately after the, margic, the mark, you know, hits. So you, having a little bit of damage reduction was gonna help you tremendously a lot, trust me. Unfortunately, an Unbound, this <laughs> doesn't give you almost anything. And trust me, on Classic, level 5, it's pff, level 4. I mean, level 4 is even less than this, so might as well not even use it. Um, but of course, it always helps a little bit. Then we have here the Scoot. Reduce the cooldown of Scamper by 1.5 seconds. This is important. This is important because if you have to wait like 5 to 6 seconds for a Scamper, it's gonna be hard. Trust me. You really wanna use this. I don't use the healing during it because if you're being targeted by, um, Cauterize, you're almost not even gonna be healed. But it's always good to use. As I said, this is loadouts that I'm using you guys can actually change it and use a loadout that it's much better for you. Uh, then we have here the reduced of the cooldown of the magic barrier by 1.25 seconds, which also allows me to, you know, become immune for two seconds a lot more times than I would usually go. And finally, being hit while your magic barrier is active heals you for 250. So technically, if somebody hits you, at least you heal a little bit so you can actually retreat. Although one of these cards, I really wanted to change him. And I'm really thinking about taking this away. And putting this one because if I, I get a lot of kills with Moji and reducing the cooldown is always gonna help me much better than actually having the the magic barrier so let's go with that yeah if you guys want to check it use this loadout try it out it's really really cool um, but here's another one which really doesn't change much uh, I just took away the healing from the being hit and to heal while using Scamper which I really think I'm probably yeah I'm basically what I'm trying to do with this loadout is if I get hit with Magic Mark I don't get you know I don't get car rise so I run away and heal a little bit in the duration of it but I don't use this loadout a lot of times but now this loadout is the one I've been using a lot a lot trust me um why because I'm using this legend this card right here Symbiotic, while below 50% health, receive 35% increased healing. Trust me, this card is so goddamn good, you guys don't even understand. Um, this he helps on everything, okay? This helps on goddamn everything. From kill to heal, to life rip, from being healed, or even using your own abilities to heal yourself, it will increase the amount of healing you get when you're really really low trust me this is a must have but unfortunately this is the only loadout i'm using currently with it which i have crowd control reduce the, the all of the the cooldowns um you know reduce the cooldown of magic barrier and also healing with the magic mark um i think i'm probably gonna take this away and probably use this one Reduce the cooldown of Scamper. It's much better. I mean, I will have the redu the reduction of eliminations. Uh, will with um, a cooldown of eliminations. Not that's not what I wanted to say. The cooldown of all abilities with eliminations. That's what I wanted to say. So this cooldown, this loadout is actually pretty good. I've been using it a lot lately, and it's extremely strong. If you guys want to test it out. Now we're gonna go here really really fast on training, and I'm gonna show you two or three things you probably didn't know about Moji. So here we are in training, so I can show you guys two or three things really, really fast. Um, the legendary that I use the most is the Boom Boom, but in case I really don't have a good healer or I really want to heal my teammates and help them out a little bit, I want to go with Tooth. These are the two legendaries I use. I don't use Snack Attack or Yummy, although I really have to try them out. And uh, they're probably like really, really good, but really, let's just go with Tooth so I can show you guys. And let's go with this one right here. The, the one that I told you get, you know, you healed up faster and let's go with heat kill to heal to the maximum i want to show you guys uh how this works so cassie here is going to take most of our life away there we go we're 250 damage right and now look at how much we're going to heal 1215 instead of 900 believe it or not that's a huge difference so that's the first thing i wanted to be talking about now about the rest, first of all, we can see here emoji. 
Uh, there's like just one bug that I wanted to report to you guys about it. Uh, when I use the magic barrier, as you can see here, she's like floating in the air, right? Correctly. Correct. Now let's go with Kronos, which is the yellow item that I always use with her. Always, always. Unless I'm using the legendary card that um, gives me 50% of uh, ultimate charge. Uh, that I'll go more of a boost because that's much, much, much more, you know, much faster. And now I'm gonna use the magic mark now. She has her hands, her hands in front of her, when clearly, when in third person, that's not what she does. So, <laughs> GG, Iris. Now, let's continue. She's so goddamn cute. I love this character because of a reason specifically. Her voice is so cute that it reminds me of my wife. She's not. She doesn't talk like this, okay? But I keep saying she's she's so goddamn cute that I just wanna. Um, that somehow, every time I use her, I remember my wife. Okay, this is weird. Look at this. <laughs> Whatever. Um, as I said before, the left head, this one, is only projectiles. Okay, and it shoots like this. And this one is the so-called magic fire that doesn't stick. Every one of these little clouds are like projectiles. Now, about the abilities. As you can see here, that's one mark. That's two marks, three marks, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this is the damage it does with ten, 750, 720, 75. But if we have like nine marks... Oh, they changed it! Okay. So Mochi is a lot better on doing damage with the marks, but no longer does headshots. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Hyrus, for messing up my tutorial, but still, good. Um, in the old days, and I still have the footage for for that as well, if I did 9 marks, it would do like 300 something damage instead of 600, so that's actually pretty good. If I probably put like 5 marks, 344, 434, okay, they changed it, then that's good, that's actually pretty good. So guys, try to do uh, the closest possible to 10 ma you know, to 10 mark. Don't shoot, don't go like full charge like this, because you can do a lot of damage with it, but still, this is the best way to go, especially against the front line. So as you can see here, she does a lot of goddamn damage. Now, for our ultimate, um, we've seen Scamper does this, we've seen the magic, mari uh, the magic bar uh, barrier. Um, it's pretty good as well, but we need to see how much it works, so boom. I don't receive no damage. And she received it automatically a, f a full mark, as you just saw here. Let's do it again. Boom, mark. Wait, I think they probably changed something. Oh no, you cannot cancel the magic barrier, the barrier while it's active. Um, and also there's... I want, there's something I wanted to test, so Enemy. I'm gonna let her take away most of my damage of my life, and I'm gonna use the, um, the scamper ability, and I'm here. It was because she was on um, out of combat. We need to do this again. Hold up, one, two, three. Thank you so much. I'm gonna attack so I don't get out of combat. As you can see here, we're not healing from this pool. Okay. We are not healing. So, we can heal other people, but we cannot heal each other. So you just, you know, use a scamper and right next to somebody, that person is gonna heal a little bit. I mean, it's not gonna heal much, it's not gonna be like, huge difference, so don't think that's gonna help like the entire team, but uh, it does help a little bit. And now there's a, something, uh, this is more like a tip. Um, instead of going like this, in going away from your teammates or going straight into the enemy lines, what you want to do is just press the ability and don't touch anything else. And it will do this. Okay, we didn't went all the way back there. We stayed almost right next to it. Of course, you, if you even try to pull back, she's gonna go like really, really far away. Um, uh, also, another thing you can do is while using Scamper, attack. And it will cancel as soon as you want. So, you can cancel almost immediately. Instead of going the full way, like like this. Um, 
Yeah, like this. That that's that's okay. Okay. So you see it leaves this little pool of healing here. And it's really, really awesome. You guys should definitely check it out. And finally, but not least, we want to talk about our ultimate. Uh, our ultimate cannot be used in two people at the same time. I've tried it. I joined it up these bots and try to use it. Ultimate only works on one. But the thing you probably didn't notice is that you can use this legendary, this ultimate, I mean, from very far away. Look at this. See? Transform that sky in the end. And she's back to normal. Um, now we're gonna sh we're gonna show you one last tip about our ultimate. Uh, you can use it like uh, this in a straight line, and then you scamper to gra grab the person and kill her instantly. Okay. So in case you didn't know that, you can use the scamper to actually uh, grab the person with the ultimate. And as I said, it doesn't have a range limit. It goes in a straight line. So use scamper to get there fast, 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 and grab it. Good enough. So, the best way to use it is going against a frontline always, which is much more, much, much more obvious. And here's the thing. Using the ultimate, it's completely immune to damage, as you can see there. But you can still put a mark on in it, and in case you don't manage to get it on time, at least it has the mark. Boom. Now, one last little thing is the other legendary I wanted to show you. Um, I'm gonna do damage on this one, and boom! The sky also got the damage. See? So this is good when you have a full team like of small people, or even even two front lines is good, because you're gonna be doing 750 at the, at the same time to two different people. And it's really awesome. And now, the only last, the last thing that I want to show you guys is this one, is when you kill somebody, it leaves this little mark, and you heal up instantly. So we're gonna sh see how much that it heals without being below 50%. And there doesn't really heal much because we don't <laughs> we didn't have anything to heal. Uh, we need to get above 50% so we can see how much it's gonna heal. Okay, there we go. And we healed 100. Oh, okay. We have killed to heal, so that's bad. <laughs> Let's try to go. So you can even stack up with kill to heal. So you pretty much go almost immortal with this. Uh, but what I want to do is change the champion. So this way it loses the items that I bought. Good enough. And now we're gonna kill her. But we're gonna try to go, a, you know, a little close to the the 50% mark. Ah, one more, one a little more, a little bit more, Enemy come on. Rampage. There we go. So we're gonna kill her. Boom, 750. No, 720, I'm sorry, guys. Now we're gonna let her take all of that damage. And now let's see how much it heals. 972, so that's amazing. It's stacked up with kill to heal, that's even better, okay? And I think you even get from using ultimate, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really say that you get healed by killing them like that, but uh, even with kill to heal, even without kill to heal, I think you heal a little bit. Also, be careful, because this legendary, as I said before, you can be stopped with CC immunity um, and other type of abilities that leave you immortal and immune to damage. Uh, and But the good thing is, if you use this against a Terminus, for example, he cannot be revived. He cannot use his ultimate if he has his ultimate ready. Even maybe a Grok... If you hit the Grok with this, he will not go, you know, instead of dying, go ghost, ghost walk, he will not save himself. So, yeah, guys, that's basically it. We have here an amazing, an amazing champion. Really, really cute, uh, which is our mage rabbit, <laughs> wizard rabbit, with her friends and her marks and her explosions and also her cookies. Uh, and she's really insane. She is really strong. I mean, look at this damage. You think this is bad? This is this is, is not bad, guys. Wee! Far away. Um, I think I wanted to talk something else. Oh yeah, the items. Let's just talk about the items really fast. Uh, car rides is probably the best item to buy. Uh, of course, if you have a lot of deployables, go with bulldozer. If you have a lot of shields, go with wrecker. Uh, although I mainly go car rides because she's a flank. 
Uh, also, kill to heal or life rip, amazing, both of them. You, the, the life rip, rip, you will also get more healing when below 50% with that card. It works the same way, so you can heal a little bit faster below 50%, you know, to go a little above the middle of your life. And um, the, the, the yellow items, I only use this on one map, which is that ice map that is really, really big. I'm not re remembering the name right now. Um, more of a boost for the legendary that, you know, you get increased... You could get the increased uh, charge rate, so you got a lot, a lot, a lot of ultimates. Uh, I don't use Nimble a lot. I always use Chronos because her abilities are pretty, pretty goddamn neat. Especially if you're going to heal, trust me, go with Chronos so you can heal a lot more. Um, and of course, the blue items is pretty much your choice depending on the enemy team. If there's a lot of explosions, go with Blast Shield. If there's a lot of projectile damage, go with Haven. If there's a lot of cripples, go with Resilience. If there's a lot of um, hiding people, go with Illuminate. That is all for the tutorial, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Unfortunately, there's one or two things that I thought it were gonna go, you know, go better, like the damage, the headshots with this, which until today they were working. Trust me. But at the same time, they fix it the part where you got nine marks and it does only three hundred something instead of maybe you know the almost close to the seven hundred seventy five. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are gonna have a wonderful experiencing with Moji here and you know just try to get that title with friends because is that that's gonna look good and that's probably like the second title or the third title that I'm gonna get uh, because when I do streams I always do streams with my people here my friends and as such uh, having creepers 26 and friends <laughs> it's something you know awesome to see so yeah guys that's basically all for the tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed this has been Creepers with another tutorial, another amazing tutorial, and hopefully this is going to help you guys. Um, do let me know if it did help, and do also do let me know if I've missed something. I don't think I did, but, you know, it can happen. So you guys let me know. Uh, I'll be sure to, you know, update the guide as soon as it starts changing too much, just like I'm going to be doing with Maeve. And yeah, guys, that's basically it. I'll see you guys on my next video. Missed me. Toodles. Hi. Toodles. Well, Foggle Snort to you too. <laughs> <laughs>